Hi, I'm Eli Juicy Jones. This morning, we're gonna go over some Texas stuff. They sent me a new formula for the Tough Wicks, Juicy Wicks that I love. And it's a little bit different. Oh, my desk got rearranged while I was playing. Stick around, we're gonna go over that. It's Vape AM. We're gonna go over Juicy Wicks, new slightly tweaked formula and build it on the Cali, yeah. Good morning, everybody. I'm Eli Juicy Jones. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters. Right now you're tuned into Vape AM. This is my weekly show. It comes on twice a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays. And this morning, we are gonna go over some Juicy Wicks, Tough Wicks. They sent me from Tough Wicks a new formula. And this one was already open. This is the new one. And we're gonna compare them and look at them. It's pretty cool. Pretty excited. I got that reversed. The new one is the open one, but that's all good. Um, news, not too much news going on this week. Nothing really. Tell me how you guys are doing. If you guys noticed that we finally did get our giveaways all done and those are going to go out in the mail. Uh, we also are getting, I guess, a Fire Luke Free Max and some other stuff. I'm not exactly sure, but there's other things coming on. And uh, still vaping on my Dynamo from, from Aspire. Today we're building on the Cali on my Captain from iJoy, which is a great mod. Dual 2700. And we're going to put some coils in this thing. And just, come on now. Hello, focus. We're gonna put some coils in this thing and check out the new cotton. Um, if you guys obviously already know that I love Juicy Wicks, this stuff has extremely high absorbency and it's super good on flavor and lasting a super long time. These are some triple nichrome 27 on 32 coils. I think they're three millimeter. I've got my two and a half millimeter bit in here. Pull a couple of those out. Pick them in here. I'm also going to use one of the gifts that Brady sent me, which is my coil cut base. Love this thing. You simply stick your coils in there. In the top here and then trim them. There are markers on each of these telling you how much lead you're getting. That's eight millimeters, 7.3, 6.6. I'm not sure why they have these exact measurements, but probably we're just trying to step them down. You just pop this in here and cut them off. This is for a postless setup. There we go. How cool is that? Like we're almost there. Nope, it's fine. Love this thing. That is so handy. It also has a little ruler on it in case you need to see some centimeters. Kind of cool. Times fade because you're so clever. All right, we're gonna take these coils. Put them in the cali. Tighten them down and then we are going to wick it. Together. Is it good? You'll notice they're pretty much in there. We're gonna move them in towards the middle because that's how I roll. I personally think that the eight millimeter tool is a little bit short, but it's all good. I'm just lightly tightening these just to give them some wiggle room. Love building the Cali, so easy. Can't wait to look at this cotton. Not bad. My dog is in there barking like crazy. I have no idea what her deal is. Let's see what our reading is. Looks like we're at 0.06. No, we're at 0.1. Should go up just a tiny bit. I'm guessing it'll go up to 0.1. It might go down when it gets wet. Just gonna tighten these all the way. All four of them. I can't stress enough how important it is to tighten your leads two or three times while you're building. You can't just do it once. I will just. Grab these and move them into the middle. That's where I like them. 
We're back at 0 0.06. Okay, let's see. We're at 36 watts. That's fine. I'm just going to give these some quick pulses. Burn off some of the oil from my fingers. Atmospheric dust and stuff like that. It's on these. You can see they're kind of changing color. That's always pretty. Hey, today's Michaela's birthday. Hey, I didn't know that. Happy birthday, Michaela. I think you should have told me that before. I would have dedicated the whole show to you. This show is dedicated to Michaela. Happy birthday. He's probably 29 yet. All women are honorary 29. Don't forget. Anyway, happy birthday to you. I'm so stoked. Ding. All right, we're just giving these some pulses. I'm gonna turn it up to 45 watts here in a second after a... Actually, go to 40. Pulling on these a little bit. Tighten the leads again. Always important to have them good and tight. And these postless decks. It's really nice with these flat style coils. Pretty easy. There we go. I'm going to give it some more. Honestly, I was just doing that to give them some color because I'm dorky. Now we're at 53 watts. Starting to fire now properly. Still at 0.06. It's starting to burn evenly. It's good. They're getting there. Yep. They look fantastic, don't they? Okay, so there's that. We have coils. Now let's take a look at the at the tough wicks. First of all, I want to thank everybody. I forgot to do this. I want to thank everybody who tuned in live. I always do that. M16 Skills, Michaela, uh, Dr. Dolphy, Dude Mang, uh, Naki, David Harms. I'm losing all the names. Vaping in Times with Tom, Ronian, Ed, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. Love all you guys. Good morning. And happy birthday to Michaela. So here's our build. And here is our Texas Tough Cotton. This is the new formula on the right. I've already opened this and we used it on the last show. And this is the uh, old or regular formula. And so what we're going to do is I'll just take one of the many pieces, the individual strands of this, and we'll take it off. This is the new one or the old one. And we'll grab another one from here. This is the new formula. And let's take a look. So I'm feeling it. This is the Texas Tough, I, or the Quick Wicks I love. This feels like it's a little bit softer, or a little bit less dense. It feels like the pieces are maybe smaller. It feels like there's, it's not as dense as it was. Maybe I'm crazy. Okay, let's take one of these. And we'll put one on each side. I'm going to take just about half that, a little more. Twirl it up. It feels like maybe this was reformulated to be a lot more like Tough Wicks. I actually want a little bit more cotton in there than I put in there. So I'm going to take a little bit of this, since we have so much extra. And I'm going to twist it in there. Get a little more. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like it. In fact, I might even try the whole thing. It feels like this stuff is not as dense, like I said, as the other one. And as a result, I can sort of put in a thicker piece of cotton. It works just fine. She may have merely changed the sizes of these things so that you don't have to split as much off. But that's the whole slab right there. And there's no way I could fit the whole slab of this in there. It just will never go. So I'm going to take some off. Twirl it up and stick her in there. Oops, need to get her in there. See, we're having a little trouble here. I'm going to keep twisting. Stand. It looks good. So it feels like that's definitely a little bit denser. All right. Take our gingham scissors. Ginger, rather. We're not gingham. Let me 
Oh, always cutting a little more off. So here's the new side on the bottom and the old side on the top. Get these guys down inside there. I'm take my little dental tool. Try to get my length right and then start a scoop in. Scooping in there so that I've got good orientation of the fibers in a C shape or a D. If it were in profile. Here, I just pulled a little bit more out with my fingernails. Looking pretty good. Now we're going to cut this. This one back here, remember this one back here is the new side, and the one on the outside by the display is the old one. Scoop this down inside there. Boopy. In fact, I think that's a little bit long, to be honest, for the Cali. Go. Okay, now I'm just building. It behaves just about the same. It feels like the new one is a, is a little bit more like the old Quick Wicks to me. Slightly less fluffy than this one. I'll pull a little bit more of that out just to even it out. All right. Now it's morning time, and what better in the morning than coffee, I say. Remember, this side is the is the old, and this side is the new side. I'm sorry, this is the new side, and that's the old side. Okay. So, Tobacco Land Pipes VCT. Hey, dude, Mang Brozovich, give me some four dollars and twenty cents. Hey, dude, Mang, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. He put four dollars and twenty cents into the super chat system. I appreciate that. Every dime you guys send me it goes towards coils, cotton making dog food happen, paying for the lights. Appreciate it. You keep Orbital Vaping Headquarters running. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you. And I just hit the camera. I'm sorry. Okay. So you guys noticed that we did, that we did actually fire these before we built it this time. I typically like to accidentally skip that. Just getting some e-liquid down inside the well where it belongs. Make a little swimming pool out of it. Then you have to touch the cotton. This is a sign that it works really well. It resists until you break the surface tension. It has a surface tension just like liquids do. Oopsie. It looks like I may have gotten this one a little short to be honest. Because it keeps coming up out of there. I'm gonna scoop more. Yeah, there we go. I'm happy with that. Okay, more squirting. Oh, I love VCT. Vanilla caramel tobacco, it's so good. It's custard, actually. I don't know why I said caramel. Okay. Now let's touch this with the tools. It behaves just like regular Texas Tough. It isn't acting any different or stranger. You see absorbing all that liquid? This thing is, this stuff is really absorbent. put a ton of e-liquid in there and there's still the cotton is still sucking it up yeah look you can just see it disappear that's amazing love this stuff 
and we are finally saturated because I can see this little bubble of liquid inside there does not want to go down. So we're finally there. Let's go up here and vape on this. I don't think it's going to be too different, to be honest. Yep. Who's going to have to watch their camera when this show's over, huh? Me! Yeah, it looks pretty goddamn good, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't know that I see a ton of difference. It feels a little different, and it's it's less dense inside the little fingers. But it's the same amount of cotton. There may be more little fingers, and it works virtually the same as you saw. So clearly what she told me was that this was a really, really, really tiny tweak. So it is a tiny tweak. It looks to me like she has increased the percentage of the quick wicks over the juicy wicks to make the, or the fluffy over the, she's increased the, the stranded kind a tiny bit and taken out a tiny bit of the fluff and perhaps changed the size of the individual pieces. Otherwise it works exactly the same. This is the same old Texas tough. And uh, this is cool. And uh, no, Michaela, it's not just repackaged. That's not what we're talking about. This, is, this isn't a new product. This is a tweak on the product. So the package is the same. It's the same product. You can't buy the old one. Um, so good job, Texas Tough. Pretty good. It looks like it's got the same thing. I haven't really put this through the ringer yet, so I can't see if it's behaving differently so much. I've had it in one RTA, two RTA, sorry, because I had it in my Blitzen, and I put it into the, uh, into the Aromizer V2, Supreme V2, and works the same. So as far as I'm concerned, it works exactly the same. It's a little bit easier to use because it's a little bit easier on the fingers. Um, but I'm not sure that I, not sure it needed to be tweaked, but it is still good. Still love it. Love Texas stuff. Love Juicy Wicks. Mm, BCT. So good. Vanilla custard tobacco. Flavor on these is real good. They're doing their thing. Let's grab another drip on there. Bing. Kind of weird. All right. I mean, as always, there's no bad taste. No break in. It's fine. The side next to the to the Captain logo on this was the new one. Or I'm sorry, the old one, the thicker one. It appears just fine. I kind of prefer the juicy wicks from the middle here a little better. It was kind of a little fluffier. But I can't say that I have any complaints. I mean it's obviously working just perfect. I'll put some more tobacco in here. Uh, Adam Brosovich, no. Click on the link in the description down there. I put one in there, and they have a website now. You can order it from there. You don't have to go to eBay anymore. Make sure you tell her Juicy sent you. Love the folks at Tough Wicks, Juicy Wicks. Thanks, Tough Wicks, Juicy Wicks. And it is toughwicks.com, T-U-F-F-W-I-X.com. Uh, will my black Cali RDA go good with the stainless Kennedy 2100 Vindicator Mac? Um, I would imagine so. Your Cali's got multiple, got multiple, let me see this. Yeah, it'll be great with that if the size is right. What is the diameter? 25 millimeter outer diameter. And the Cali is 25. So it should work just perfectly on that thing. They're both 25 millimeters. So make sure you send me a picture of that. I want to see it. Very good. I would very much like to see that, sir. Very much. 
What else? What are you guys doing? Yeah, the size looked right. Hey, Layton, how are you, buddy? It's nice to see you. I didn't realize that I was I scheduled this for 8.30 and I started it at 9. I meant to start it at 9 o'clock. I don't know why. So I scheduled it for 8.30. Sorry about that, guys. Didn't mean to make you wait. David Harms, old Captain PD-270 versus the new Captain PD-270. Well, probably the new one, I'm guessing. I'm not sure what the what the new how what's different about the new one because I don't have one yet. I can sort of look, but I don't really know. Is there a new captain? Because the last I heard, they came out with that uh, AI pod, and oh, new splatter colors. Oh, new colors. Oh, good question. Uh, personal taste, buddy. You have to just roll the dice there. Good question. This is my one that I got under warranty. Mine failed after it took a year. And uh, the contacts in the bottom stopped reading batteries. Um, maybe because I changed them so much. I really used the crap out of this. Dude man saying they should make a, a Captain PD-2170, and I totally agree. Let's look at the... Check out the Captain. If you haven't seen my video on the Dynamo yet, check out the video. But the Dynamo is larger than the Captain. Same height, but wider and thicker. So they could clearly make a Captain 2170. Be the same size as this. And I suggest that they go for... Honestly, I like the plastic that they've used in this Aspire because they cut the weight way down. Um, Aspire is doing pretty good with trying to make their injection molded plastic work okay. There have been a few problems, as you can see here. I'm having some cracking on the button, and so I don't know when that's gonna fail, but it's going to, isn't it, guys? I mean, come on. There's like a gap there, and that's getting bigger. We'll keep posted on this. I'll keep you guys updated, for sure. Michaela says she's going to Texas Roadhouse for a birthday. That's nice. That sounds very nice. Sounds like a good place. Hmm. Dave Ape. Oh, no, I'm on the West Coast. So I wake up super early for these things. So normally it starts at 8. It started at 9 today just because I was I didn't get my stuff together. I got up kind of late. M16 Skills likes the camo. Yeah, this thing's good. I absolutely love this thing. And it's got my... Samsung 20. Oh, I need a new wrap. Ah. Damn it. Who knew? It's time for a new wrap. So there you go. It's got my Samsung 30Ts in it. These are great. Lightning Vapes has Samsung 30Ts for like $14, y'all, by the way. And go to Discord and get an affiliate code for that if you buy those, and they'll give me a few bucks. Love this thing. Back to Texas stuff. This stuff is working fantastic. Working just as well as it always does. I just pulled the lid off and did that myself. Always. Cotton testing is kind of boring, I know. It's easy. Good safety message. Always rewrap your batteries as soon as you see problems. Or take them to Home Depot and buy new ones. That's okay, too. Yeah. Yeah, here I am, vaping my Texas stuff. Let's take another look at it up close. This is the old one, and it simply feels like she's put... It feels like what all she did was change the amount of cotton in each of these bundles. Like this, this doesn't feel like it's quite as much cotton. One of the things I kind of liked about this or this formula is that it has a little bit more stiffness and holding its shape. And this one is getting a little bit more stringy, uh, which isn't a performance problem. It doesn't always look great. And some of the some of the stuff that collects on the outside. One of the reasons to have spongy cotton is that some of the stuff that collects on the outside can get absorbed off the lid back into the thing. 
And if it's too stringy, that doesn't happen. It just goes down inside the thing and sort of con condenses wherever it wants to. Naki, no, you don't. You don't get eighteen six fifties from Home Depot. You take your you take your batteries to Home Depot to recycle them and um, get new ones. Not from them. You have to get new ones from you know IMR, right? I see. <laughs> no, what I meant was you get them from IMR after you visited Home Depot to drop off your old batteries. I didn't mean to be confusing. I apologize. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. What are you talking about? Um, they do carry eighteen six fifties, but as you know, they're all encased in power tools. Like you have to tear them apart. And there's eighteen fifties in there. And a lot of them have 2700s in them now. Those Sanyos. By the way, I want to mention that these Sanyo 2700 batteries are a legend. These are a legend. I charged these up the other day. And this says 3129 on it. It charged up for 3131. This is a, over a year old. It's almost 18 month old battery. And it's still ice cold when I charge it at two amps. Charges in an hour, 45 minutes and they're not losing charge over time. It's absolutely insane. Although I gotta say that I bought four of these a year and a half ago and three of them are perfect and one of them is bad. So 25% fail rate over time, but it took a year that's still acceptable. And then the other three are still just trucking like they're brand new. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> you guys are saying to Juicy Wicks, Tough Wicks is the winner. I know, I love it. Dude, man, ju it's Juicy Wicks for me, buddy. This is my stuff right here. I use this for everything. Last year, and she has two varieties. She has Tough Wicks and Juicy Wicks. Let me open up my little bag of cotton here. And the Tough Wicks for me, uh, last year we started experimenting with this new formula for Juicy Wicks, and I stopped using this. I use this now in everything, RDAs, RTAs, the whole nine yards. I think Juicy Wicks does it all for me. You guys tell me what you think too. Looks like, Owen, Naki, love Tough Wicks. And M16 Steel says the Royal Mail in the UK won't carry batteries at all. What is Fogstar doing? M16 Skills, how are they shipping batteries? I'm just curious. Are they using FedEx or UPS or DHL uh, or the like? That's great information. Uh, Naki said he likes Juicy Wicks and Tough Wicks and he likes Juicy Wicks better. Yeah, I do too. I like it. It's because it's, it's a little bit more absorbed, not absorbed, but it's got that little fluffy... It's a little bit more, it has the absorbency and the sponginess of some of the other ones it competes with. And then it's got all that orientation and stranding that I love too. It's fluffier. That's right. It's fluffier. Uh, dude, main roast of it. That's Ordering a two pack of Juicy Wicks not right now. That's great. Make sure you say hi. I'm from, I'm from Juicy Dones HQ because I love Juicy Wicks. Those are nice people. I appreciate them. And that cotton comes from Texas, as far as I know. And uh, they they bundle it and comb it and package it in Vegas and send it out. And it's absolutely fantastic. This stuff is great. It's an American product. If you guys don't know, a lot of cotton that gets sold worldwide goes uh, to, comes from Texas. And in fact, China's biggest, Texas biggest trade partner is China. And Texas exports like th seven, three and a half to seven, I forget what the number was, billion dollars worth of cotton to China every year. It might even be 32 or something. It's a huge number. And um, the trade embargo is going to destroy that. That's going to be bad. China's going to stop buying cotton from Texas pretty soon here. <laughs> and then we're going to see what a great idea this trade war is from our idiot president. Uh, M16 Skill says that DPD courier firm. So they're having to use couriers in the UK because the Royal Mail won't carry batteries at all. That's just ridiculous. I mean, from a retailer, you would think that batteries are pretty safe. I get that they don't want to carry batteries from regular people because you might be mailing old or dead batteries and might and they might uh, have problems. But what do you guys think? Don't you think that the mail ought to like make some more sophisticated maybe judgments about batteries or something? Like it seems like they, they'll ship power tools to you. Those contain batteries or will they? There's a good question. That's a good question, actually. M16 skills, M's. Are y'all, will the UK Post send power tools to you? Like, can you order a Makita drill or a DeWalt drill or a power drill? Those have batteries in them. I'm only curious about how it goes. Very interested. Yeah, that's, whew. so it says it's almost the same in the US. The US Postal Service doesn't want to, although they do quite often. And they are like, trying pretty hard. So I get stuff from DHL all the time. And, uh, oh, Naki points out laptop batteries. Laptop batteries are also, they have 18650s in them. <laughs> so 
Surely they'll send you a laptop that has a battery. I realize that these companies can apply for dispensations or certifications or permission, you know, uh, so maybe they've done that. I'm very curious. Great question. Yeah, scared of explosions. That's exactly right. And of course, it makes sense that they might be, um, it makes sense that they'd be concerned about safety if you're mailing, you know, subpar or old or used batteries. But for new batteries, I would think that there'd be some kind of some kind of method for them to do this. It seems irritating. Fogstar must be very annoyed. Uh, regular mail today in Denmark is five to seven days now, same as when the Royal Mail started like 120 years ago. So, hmm. So there's not a lot of progress there on that front. So I'm disappointed about that. But mental note, just by the way, for you guys in the UK and in, in Europe, Fogstar is a great company. They test their batteries well. They follow Mooch's ratings. They're very nice people. And so I recommend you buy your batteries from Fogstar if you're in the UK. And I recommend that you buy your batteries from Illumin or IMR Batteries in the US because both of those are definitely certified always to be correct. So... Yeah, look at this. M16 skill says he just got a DeWalt 18, <laughs> XR18 volt. No problems with the delivery. And that is chock full of, chock full of 18650 batteries. So, hmm. So, hmm. Uh, old vape guy Gary is vaping on his XRDA and the Dynamo. Yeah, Gary's got his Dynamo too. Gary loves his. I think yours is also. Is, is yours camo too, Gary? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, Michaela's saying a lot of US vape stores won't ship batteries. Yeah, I've noticed that too. Hey, there's me.us. And he's pointing out that some of the new laptops are real thin and they have lipos in them. It's absolutely true. Absolutely true, my friend. Some of those super duper 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 thin ones. Snail mail. M16 says they call it snail mail in the UK. We call it that tier two. Hey, look, we have the same slang. That's good. Like cops. Cops comes from the US. We share that one. I found out that uh, the reason why cops in England are called Bobbies was that the original guy who started the municipal police force was named Bobby. His name is Robert. <laughs> so they called him Bobbies. I love that. Gary says camo, no scratch cracks yet. Ah, so he's talking about this. Yeah, I'm very curious. Let's go way up here. That is my crack regime. There's definitely a chip here and a crack here. That's a crack, that's a chip. And this has never been dropped. So there's no telling how that happened. Hey Adam, hope you have a great day. Hope those kids have fun playing video games. What time is it? It's already 9.30. Okay, so even though I started late, I'm so sorry. I got to go here pretty soon because today is Saturday and we have tons of stuff, of stuff to do. So you guys, I hope have a great day. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters. We were talking about Texas Tough today. I'm glad you guys like Texas Tough. So do I. I hope you haven't tried it. You give it a shot. Go over to texastuff.com. Tell them Juicy Jones HQ sent you and maybe she'll send you something extra. I don't know. Um, love all you guys. Tune in next Wednesday. Going to see you then. Have a great day. Let's vape out. Thanks to everybody who tuned in live, which was a lot of people. Pat, me, US, old, Naki, dude, doctor. I'm only reading the first word. <laughs> M1, <laughs> old. That's so funny. And Michaela, happy birthday to you. Let me get my thing. And I will drip into it. And we will vape out together and have a nice day. I hope. Thank you. Oh, the button. Thank you.